So Superflat was a game mode in Minecraft released back in January 2012 and was mainly just meant for building in creative. However, you can still generate structures in Superflat, which makes me think, was this game mode necessarily just for creative? Like at one point you were able to customise Superflat and select between different presets, which weren't necessarily meant for just building in creative. So maybe this game mode was partially meant for survival. But what if you didn't have structures? Like none at all, and all you had was three layers of dirt and a bonus chest, and a bonus chest with very limited amount of resources. However, there is a way to get to villagers, and this involves killing a zombie to get iron, to get a cauldron in a bucket, get rain to fill up the cauldron and collect water from the cauldron using the bucket, and use that water to drown zombies into drowns, and then you know, from killing the drowns, get copper to create a lightning rod, lightning strikes the pigs, turn into zombified piglins, Kill the zombie five piglins to get gold, combined with apples which you get from the bones chest and create a golden apple. Get witch splash potion of weakness on a zombie villager and then they turn back into a villager. And you trade with the villager to get emeralds and trade with the wandering trader to get saplings. The reason I mentioned that part about the wandering trader near the end there is because only on bedrock edition do you get saplings from the bonus chest. On Java you can only get a few pieces of planks and a few pieces of logs. But either way whether you're playing on bedrock or Java you only really have half of access to the villager trades given the fact that you have no access to stone at all. So, yeah, still have limited access to shit. So from all of this, we know you can definitely survive in structural superflat. But can you thrive? Well, I guess that really depends on what your definition of thrive is. In this case, it's really just building a lot of stuff. You have no access to nether or the end. So, really, what else can you do? There's no point in getting powerful armor, because you're not going to be fighting the ender dragon or the wither. So, really... All you can do is just build. However, this may cause some people to be creative. As seen with some YouTubers who've managed to create, you know, amazing things with, you know, a limited amount of resources. Pretty much just being a bonus chest and just dirt. But, you know, seeing what little they had, probably, you know, convinced them to be more creative. So I guess that could be the main appeal of this challenge. From pretty much having almost nothing to being able to create whatever you want, just looks and sounds incredible. So... This is definitely a challenge which I definitely recommend you try. Though so be prepared for a lot of grinding. One thing about this challenge which is important is that there's really no end goal. So you can do whatever the fuck you want and set yourself an end goal if you want. Yeah. But I think many people would mainly just play until they got bored. Which is also alright. Honestly, it's insane to even think that this challenge was even possible. When I first saw that, you know, Bedrock Super Flat Wheels didn't even have, you know, like any structures. I didn't even think, you know, super flat without structures was even possible. But, you know, turns out it is, you know, and that's definitely incredible. But anyways, lads, I'm going to end off this video here. Hope you enjoyed and uh, yeah, see yous.